I want to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. I pray that it is a special Christmas. Christmas, to be Christmas, it doesn't take place out here. It takes place in here, in your heart and in your mind. Every year I have a personal Christmas tradition. I watch the movie It's a Wonderful Life. Now I do this alone because my family won't watch it with me because I cry. Sometimes I sob and I do it every year. It is because it triggers something in my heart. Well, I wish you spiritual gifts this Christmas, spiritual gifts that you can use and take with you for a lifetime, not just one day. One of the spiritual gifts that I want to give you is this, two words, God's grace. When you say that, there is an action that you're consenting to. You're consenting to the grace of God. In Ephesians 3, verse 7, it says of this gospel, I have become a servant according to the gift of God's grace that was given to me by the working of God's power. Well, by the grace of God, I pray that every day, you know that the presence of God is always with you. The very movement of the thought of God's grace in your mind, it causes you to relax. It causes something to stir in your soul. It is a memory that is beyond your years that your mind recognizes when you simply say those two words, God's grace. There is a sacred stirring that prompts your heart to beat in a steady and a strong rhythm. The very movement of the words, God's grace, over your tongue and across your lips, it calms you. Speaking about the grace of God thrills you because it is a powerful message, one of the most powerful messages of hope for you and all that concerns you. The grace of God moves, and it moves throughout your life. Because you are aware of the presence of God's grace, you feel the assurance of God's love for you. Love that is so active in you that you bring it into every aspect, every area of your life. Jesus wants you to have this gift. It is the gift that he was born to bring. You give thanks that God loves you and moves through you with a power and a beauty of grace. Remember those two words. It has power. God's grace. And my friend, I wish you the very merriest Christmas, and I send you my love.